And um, so, could you, which one? What do you? How do you prioritize? Uh, like I said, enjoying yourself and having fun, and also maybe resting, catch, recharging your battery as as, a, as against being competitive and getting the win on Saturday. Right. I mean, you know, as you come in, you're, I, I, this is my second go around. So, like, a lot of times you have like you kind of build the schedule. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my teammate is behind you, and she's really acting crazy. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Keep focused. It's all right. <laughs> So got 20 more seconds kinda, on this interview you here. I know the schedule. Okay. Um, so I kind of knew how to gauge that. Starting yesterday, uh -huh. I went to bed. Yeah. Okay. So tonight, I'll have the energy to go out. Ah, so that was the plan. So you start off with the rest. Right. You don't try to catch up after it's okay. over. Okay. Because before you know it, you got practice on Monday. Veteran move. I see. Yeah. It's not your first move. Yeah. We got to take lessons from you. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And off. I mean, we are in the desert. You got to stay, you know, hydrated, hydrated and everything like that. And you also have to be careful of going inside and outside because it's going from the AC. blistering down yeah. to you to like Arctic blast inside. Definitely. So like Definitely. I've done this quite a few times. <laughs> right. Not the first time. She's a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 a more serious question. Yeah. Um, as you know, guys, how... How do you feel about Diana Taurasi's comments the other day? Do you feel like kind of putting that out there and putting a little bit of pressure by making things public, that that is a really good, helpful thing for your guys' cause? Well, you know, I think that we're kind of in a, in a moment right now where people are recognizing the voices that our players have, you know, and they have a right to have those voices. I think that we definitely have earned that right. And, um, you know, the types of players that we have in this league, we have players that are very much aware of what's going on. They have their own personal um, business ventures or acumen that creates the multifacetedness that you see in the different women in this league. And so for her to be able to voice herself, you know, she's representing everybody. And I'm sure that a lot of people would probably like to talk to her more about what she had to say. Um, I think we all want the same thing. We all want the league to, to move forward. And in not so many words, that's basically what she was saying. And that holds a little extra weight coming from someone like her. Right. Uh, people are going to listen to her. People are going to take her seriously. And I think that that's why she oftentimes, actually I would say rarely, uses her platform. Um, I don't say that, you know, in a bad way. I just mean, like, I think she's very careful about what she says because of who she is. But for her, I know that she's a she's a woman of passion, especially for the sport. So at that moment, she probably was just ready to you know let people know exactly how she felt. Do you feel that? Do you feel that responsibility as well for yourself? That in order for not just right now, but for the next generations, those that are maybe coming up, not even in college yet, for for the league to continue to thrive and expand. That that's something that you have to also as well. You know, let your your opinions and your thoughts be known. Yeah, absolutely. That? I mean, especially as the president, it's my duty to yeah. represent. Uh, you know. The, constituency of the league mm -hmm. um, but as players yeah we do have a duty to um, if they haven't realized it now whether we like it or not we're going to impact how the league ends up you right. know and how long it goes you know and we're hoping that it doesn't end um, that's what we're preparing for actually we want it to progress and so for us to be able to make the changes that we know can create everlasting effects it's up to us right now mm -hmm. and I think that we have a very engaged group of women that are working to do that and I'm excited to be working with them. And does, how much does it mean to you when you get uh, uh, players in the NBA, you know, male players that are supporting your cause and telling you guys that, you know, you're right, you need to, you know, speak out about that? Does that impact you as well, too? Yeah, I mean, like, in the digital age, I don't think that people, people under, some people underestimate the power of, like, a tweet, mm. a retweet, a yeah. picture, you know, a comment. And if those are coming from our NBA counterparts, that creates the validity um, for those who don't necessarily follow us. Now, I say that because we are credible, you know. Absolutely. You guys are here. You see what we're doing. You see the shows that we put on, whether it's at All Star or, um, you know, just playing our regular season games or playoff games. Mm -hmm. And the men recognize that too. Um, and sometimes it just takes them letting people know that they recognize us yeah. for their following to now say, hey, you know what? Let me check this out. Right. And that type of stuff really, really matters. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a few of them tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say covering the aces on.